Good morning, Brett for Bass family. Uh, first time out in the boat this year. And uh, the lake is pretty blown out, to be honest, which I kind of figured it would be. Water temperature, 52, 52.35, 53 degrees, essentially. Uh, so it's gonna be pretty nice today, so I expect that water to warm up pretty quick. I think we'll see probably somewhere around 54, 55 degrees water temperature at some point today, but uh, it's gonna be tough. I can tell right now it's gonna be tough because this lake is um, typically more on a clear side, at least on this end that I'm fishing. So we'll see, we'll see how the uh, rain and high winds we've had lately affect these fish. You know, some lakes are naturally dirty more often. I don't, I don't think it affects them as much, but a lake like this is a little bit clear. I think sometimes when these, these storms come through and the water gets real muddy, it might uh, shut them off a little bit, but we'll see. I think, I think we'll be flipping. I, ex I expect these bass to be uh, tight to cover right now, tight to the bank, so we'll see. But uh, I'm just happy to be out, guys. It's Monday, I think April 15th, so we'll see if I can get my first bass of the year. Let's go. First one of the year, guys. To nine on jig. Little guy. Nice one. Little chunky one there, guys. This line is absolutely garbage. I will never use this red label again. Garbage line. Trash ass line. It's all good. My third old lake I'm about to do. They just snapped off for no reason. I've done way worse than that. Right here. Trash. Trash. Damn, I can't remember. Is this 20 pound? Yeah. Sniper, 20 pound. Another big going. Huh? You can have it. You sure? All right, thank you. What's that? Oh man, I appreciate it. Thank you. Take the hat off his bald ass head and get some sun on that freaking bad boy. Shit. Shit.
Damn titties are sticking to my stomach. Little fella there. Little fella there. The baby. The little baby bass. Number three. For as cheap as they are, for sure. I made a little compartment for mine too. Yeah. Like, like you did there. The casting deck, yeah. Oh, man, it's a must. Yeah, it is. I just wish there was rocket storage. Yeah, me too. Have you thought about getting another boat? I've thought about it, man, but it's just so hard for the price. I know. But I actually just got this truck, like so. Right. So I'm uh, I'll just grab down this boat right for a couple of years for sure. Yeah, me too. I would too. I mean, I, I'm definitely going to get something bigger at some point. I just like the idea of having like the rods in a locket. Yeah. We can lock it. Like we've been yeah. to Tennessee a couple times and it's tanked and then you got to haul all your stuff. Yeah. But we do pretty much the same thing that you do with that casting deck. And yeah. I like, that's about the best way to do it. Yeah, it is for sure. All right, buddy. Well, I appreciate yeah. it. Man. Have a good one, dude. Yeah, hey, those videos are great. Keep yep. up, What's man. your name? Clint. Clint, Clint Dolan. Dolan. Hey, buddy. Guys, it was a little bit difficult out there today. Kind of expected it. Once I saw those water conditions, I knew it was not the stuff I like to do. I know wasn't going to come into play. So I kind of jumped around quite a bit. I couldn't figure out exactly what it is I wanted to do through the spinner bait a little bit. Um, it just not enough wind out there and, and too much. It, there was no clouds. I mean, it's just bright bluebird skies 
And I feel like, you know, with a little bit of overcast and a little bit more wind, the spinner bait might have came into effect, but it just didn't set up for that. Um, the water was too dirty to fish how I usually would like to fish when I come up here, um, specifically for smallmouth. So I kind of bounced around, did some different things, and finally, you know, I picked up the jig, committed to it, and went flipping. And once I got that flipping stick in my hand and I committed to it, I started getting some bites. But unfortunately, by the time I got to that point, um, it was already almost noon, and I feel like I caught the very tail end of the bite window. So we kind of got to that point where it was just any time between, I feel like, noon to 3 o'clock, it could be a little bit difficult to get bites but uh it's probably going to pick back up here now it's 4 25 right now but i can't stay i gotta go so overall good experience I'm glad i got out um i caught all my fish today guys on a black 1099 jig with a berkeley black and blue chicken crawl as a trailer i was using a seven foot one medium heavy st croix victory rod 40 pound power pro braid to 20 pound um, sunline sniper as my fluorocarbon leader so that was my setup that's what i caught all three fish on today guys um yeah not the best day but hey it's better than working so everybody enjoy your day i hope you enjoyed this video everybody stay safe out there and i'll talk to you soon peace